Hey guys, so if you bought a Herman Miller Arion chair that, that is not brand new, so if you bought it used, uh, there's this one tip that I really want to share with you guys and that is something that I find out when I bought the chair without realizing and I think it's kind of important that you should check out. That is, if you look closely over at this area, uh, there is actually a foam hidden beneath um, the mesh and the foam is somehow tucked behind. The condition of the foam is usually pretty bad if your chair is fairly old. Like for example mine, if you look at the knob, you know this chair is more than 15 years old. So it's quite an older chair uh, than I bought. So the foam is probably in there for over 15 years. And this, I think, definitely is something that you should check on the condition and replace absolutely as soon as possible, okay? So um, regardless of the old age of the chair, if you look over here, this chair is actually in very good condition, especially the mesh. There's no damage on the mesh. However, this thing definitely needs to be replaced. So all you have to do is just put your hands underneath and try to fish this piece out. And I'm telling you beforehand, this is gonna be pretty nasty and uh, like that. So leave it on the side and it's probably like have a whole bunch of junks like falling apart. Um, if you have a glove, definitely wear your glove to do this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this with a bare hand. Okay. And usually, look at that, it's pretty nasty. And it's all flattened out, okay? It's all like literally falling apart after 15 years. So the center part of the of that foam is actually, uh, how do we call it? Double-sided tape. So you have to work a little more to get the double-sided tape removed. And then you are ready to put a brand new replacement foam in there. This is not original Herman Miller foam, replacement foam, but um, also it comes in different sizes. So A and B use the same size foam and size C uses a larger foam. Um, this one, it's, a OE, it's an aftermarket foam and uh, I bought it on eBay for I think 10 bucks or $12 shipped. So look at the size of the foam and compare it to the, to the you know, broken part one, you can see there is a huge difference uh, what the 15 years of sitting on the foam can do to those foams, okay? So this is definitely a replacement part or a consumable part. So as you use a chair, it will wear out eventually. Um, this one is aftermarket brand called Foam On and uh, it comes with the foam itself with the same double-sided tape that's used on the old one and also some alcohol for you to clean the under part of the area. So when you attach the double-sided tape, um, it attaches and it sits over there. It doesn't get moved around, okay? So what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna try to remove the remaining piece in here, and then we're just gonna put the brand new foam on there and see if it uh, actually um, makes the sitting experience better on this used area chair, okay? So I got the underside cleaned and I got all the tape residues removed. And the last step is pretty much just uh, aligning this piece on the back of the chair uh, or on the underside of the chair and just try to push it in and have it situated uh, at the original position, okay? So again, I can't do it with one hand, so I'm gonna turn the camera off and just try to do it with both hands. Once it's finished, we're gonna come back and take a look on what the brand new replacement foam looks like on the chair. So here we go. This is with the brand new replacement foam installed. Uh, there is a much more pronounced elevation on the drop off of the front edge of the chair compared to the old one, which was pretty much flat because it's got squeezed flat. And I, I would assume this is what it's supposed to be looking like. And uh, sitting on it, let's see. Definitely, you can feel there is more cushioning um, 
on the underside of your leg right here okay so um in terms of it made my like sitting position feels more comfortable i would say um it probably is the same but again this is brand new and i guess if i get used to the new phone it should feel more natural compared to a one that's got flattened uh over time but this is one thing that i definitely suggest you guys check is the condition of the phone okay besides every other stuff that you're supposed to check when you buy a used Arion chair, okay? Um, so that's it. If you guys have any questions or comments about replacing the phone, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel. And thanks for your support. See you in the next video.